So most cases of enucleity occur because of non-disjunction during meiosis. So remember meiosis is the process of cell division that forms egg or sperm. Um, and non-disjunction is when the chromosomes uh, fail to separate correctly um, in anaphase, either anaphase, during um, either anaphase 1 in meiosis 1 or anaphase 2 in meiosis 2. And so what this produces is either an egg or a sperm that has two copies of a chromosome um, or none, rather than the correct normal one copy. Um, and so what happens is then that egg or sperm, when it fuses during fertilization, the resulting embryo has the wrong number of chromosomes. So if we look at this picture, these are two different examples. So in the first example, we have non-disjunction occurring during meiosis 1. So here, these um, homologous chromosomes should separate so that they go each go into one cell. But instead, non-disjunction occurs, and this cell over here ends up with none of this one particular chromosome. And this one over here ends up with two copies of this particular chromosome. Um, now, we know there's uh, 46 pairs, so they're obviously not showing all of that in this picture. They're just focusing on one um, of those pairs. Okay, and then we continue on, and so we can see that this cell divides, and again, this particular chromosome has none. And then over here, we have too much of these um, over here. Um, and then here they're showing what happens with fertilization. So on this side, they're showing making of the sperm. So they've got the chromosomes in blue. And then they show what happens when um, that sperm fertilizes a normal egg. And so we're either going to end up with too many chromosomes. So that would actually be called trisomy or trisomic, like these. And or if, it, that, if the sperm had none of that chromosome, when it gets for when it fertilizes an egg, um, then it's mono, monosomy or monosomic. And remember, all of the other chromosome pairs are normal. They're just showing this one that has the wrong number. Okay, if we look on this side, so here we have non-disjunction occurring during meiosis 2. So meiosis 1 occurs normally. The homologous chromosomes separate correctly. And then during meiosis 2, the sister chromatids should separate. So he here they've separated correctly, but on this side we have non-disjunction occurring. So again, we end up with um, one cell that has none of that particular chromosome and another cell that has two copies of that, that particular chromosome. So again, we've got our sperm here. And when we fertilize the egg, we end up with the wrong number of uh, chromosomes. Now remember, euploid means normal. So this side over here, this was normal. So these are euploid cells. And then we end up with, um, just as on the other side, either monosomy or monosomic or trisomy or trisomic. Now this is showing non-disjunction occurring in sperm. Non-disjunction can also occur in eggs. Um, and then they would be fertilized with hopefully a normal sperm, but you would come up with the same issue um, with the fertilized eggs.